right, in this video, I want to show you a quick way that you can get your screen unlock count using Tasker. And here I have it set up inside of a component. Now you can do this in pretty much any custom app. I just have it set up in a component and let me show you how it works. I'm going to lock my device. Now I'm going to unlock it. And notice here the screen unlock count went up to three. You can do this as many times as you want. Locking it up, unlocking, now it goes up to four. Now maybe you want to keep up with this over the course of a day, and then when you want to reset it, we have a manual button right here. If I tap on that, it goes back to zero. Now if I lock my device, unlock it, we're back to one. Perfect. So how am I doing this? First of all, let's jump into Tasker. So I have a separate project for this. It's called Screen Unlock Count. You can find this in the Tasker files. And inside of this project, we're going to have a profile. And we're looking for this Display Unlocked. So to do that, I'm just going to show you where I went. Give it a different name. So I'm just going to type Delete because I'm pretty much duplicating my work here. And then we're looking for an event. Select Display. Select Display Unlocked. Priority set to normal has worked just fine for me. Backing out of here. We can automatically go ahead and create a task right now. And notice I already have two tasks inside of this project, unlock count and reset count. Now you can click create new task, but basically I'm gonna go in here and show you what these look like. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that because I don't need that profile because it's the same exact one right here. As you can see, display unlocked. Now when the display is unlocked, I'm going to trigger a task and I've called that task unlock count. Heading over into that task, we have the unlock count right here. Very quick task. I have a global variable set up, and it's variable set. You can get that from down here in the bottom right hand corner. Look for variable set. There it is right there. And for this first piece of our task, I'm using that global variable percent count. Make sure you capitalize that because this is a global variable and we need this to talk to other tasks as well. Well, what am I going to set that variable to? percent count plus one. Now we want to make sure we check on do math because technically we want this to do a calculation instead of seeing this as like a string or something like that. So percent count is a number. It could be zero, one, two, three, four, five. Well, whenever we unlock our device, this task is going to run again and it's going to set it to whatever it was plus one. That's how I was going up in those numbers at the very beginning of this tutorial. But again, very important to check do maths here. That way it will actually add this number plus one every time you unlock your device. Backing out of here, and then what I'm doing is I'm taking that variable, percent count, whatever it is, I'm sending it over to KOWP, KOWP send variable. The configuration, I'm taking that value of that variable, and then I'm just sending it over to custom as a custom variable called count. So again, a very quick task there. Let's back out and look at this other one as well, the reset count. But before we do that, if we head on over to the vars piece here, you should have that global variable showing up and let's just go ahead and give it a value of zero. That way, right now, when we're first starting this, we're gonna be at zero and then we can add one and add one or we can reset it or whatever. Now let's head back into task and check out reset count. This is going to be something that we trigger inside of custom to reset the count to zero. And again, a very quick task. Variable set, let's set that percent count, that global variable with that capital letter, let's set it to zero and I have the do math checked as well. It may not be required here, but what the heck, we'll be all right. And then once we do that, we have a KOWP send variable. It's the exact same information here from that previous task. We're sending over what is now zero because we've set percent count to zero, but I'm still sending it over in that same custom variable name. And then something else that's good to do for this task, this reset count, once we go inside of here, go ahead and set an icon for this. Whatever you want, custom just wants you to have some type of icon set for that particular task. Because again, we're going to be touching something in custom to reset the count to zero. So backing out of here completely, just checking on that, and then make sure you exit out of Tasker. And when you exit out of Tasker, use the back button, otherwise you'll get an error inside of custom. You can easily fix it. You just don't wanna press the home key here. You actually want to use the back button to exit out of Tasker. So back at the home screen, let's head into custom and see how I have this component set up. 
This component is called screen unlock count and you can find this in my free components folder. Head into that component. I have a stack group and that stack group is simply this text stacked on top of this reset button. The text, nothing fancy. If we head into it, I have screen unlock count. Then I just have a little space in here and I'm broadcasting in tasker for that custom variable name. We called it count. So what it's doing right now is this reading percent count and we did call that count without the percent symbol as the custom variable. That's how we're getting that one right there. Of course, you can change this text here to whatever you want. Check it on that. That's it for that first part. And now if we head to the second part of this stack group, this icon, a font icon, a shape, a picture, whatever you want to do. For that font icon, I picked a material icon font. For its touch, I'm launching a shortcut. And it is a task shortcut. And this is where you'll run into that error if you did not back out of Tasker. But basically you want to touch that one right there, task shortcut, and then select the one that we call the reset count because this is going to reset it to zero. Now if this does not work for you, again, it's probably going to ask you to pick an icon down here, which I already have, and then you can back out of this task. We're back inside of custom. Let's save this. Heading back to the home screen and I'm going to go ahead and reset this again. So now we're back to zero powering off my device, or locking my device rather, unlocking it. Now we're up to one. And you can sit here and play with this all day long if you want to. But yeah, there you have it, a screen unlock count using Tasker and then just using custom to show that information, as well as creating a button that we can trigger another task to reset that screen unlock count. If you like what you see and you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.